This is Jonathan Aguilar, fifth Pro Boxing fans, joined by Slim. Uh, Slim, that was an entertaining press conference with uh, Face Temper. How did you find it? Uh, it was fun, man. Uh, I had a good time. You know, uh, we were just talking our shit, but uh, it's respectful at the end of the day. You know, it's, it's boxing, it's entertainment. But uh, I know me and Face Temper gonna put on one of the best shows in a long time, long time, long time. This Saturday night. You have so much confidence heading to, into this fight. Is that just because of your training? Do you see something in Face Temper? Um, I, I see. I see holes in his game, but I also believe it's not just him. I know he's prepared, but I, I believe in my skill and my ability. I know I work very hard, and uh, I love boxing. I study the game, so uh, uh, I just I just believe in myself, and I believe in my power. So uh, I'm gonna bring that on uh, Saturday night. Yeah, you said that in the press. You you love boxing. You you watch uh, all the fights. Who are some of your favorite fighters? Uh, favorite fighters? Man, I love one of my favorite fighters of all time, Prince Nassim. I got Saddam World Kid Ali. My boy Khalid Tuwaiti as well. Under the pro I got uh, one of my favorite fighters watching right now Tank Davis Tank Davis is a dog bro Tank is a an animal son you know what I mean I, I love watching Tank because he's you know he always gets that KO uh, who else do I like watching there's a lot Lomachenko uh, uh -huh. yeah 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 man, uh, man there's, a, there's a lot of great fighters out there man but I love watching Canelo I watch a lot I watch like uh, uh, this, the, I'm excited for the Eubank uh, Junior versus Conor Ben that's gonna be a sick fight as well yeah man uh, yeah I, I just love boxing I watch, I watch all the time you know you just like quickly tell us about sort of this beef between you and Temper. Where did it actually all stop? You know, it's, it's not personal, personal, but you know what? We're supposed to fight each other. We're supposed to fight each other for my last fight. But the thing is, we, we could have made an agreement and wait because he's a bigger, he's a much bigger guy than me. But he didn't want to come down to the weight. And then he, want, he still wants the fight to go on. And then the fight was literally three weeks, like a month away. So I ended up fighting someone else and I got the KO. After the, uh, he started telling people I was ducking him. So I was like, yo, I'm ducking him? Bet. So after the fight, I called him out. I was like, yo, face Temper, where you at, boy? Let's make it happen. He decided to fight King Kenny after. He fought King Kenny. He won his fight. After that, I thought me and him were going to fight, you know, especially for Misfits. But he decided to, uh, to fight Blueface, a 145 pounder. I'm oh, sorry about that. He fought a 145 pounder, Blueface. And Blueface was to be the co-main event. And everybody was like, yo, they did a face-to-face. -face. It was so boring, man. It was unentertaining, you know. But, uh, you know, I believe in God's plan. You know, uh, Blueface, controversy happened to him. They pulled out. No one would step up in two weeks' notice. But I stood up to the plate, man. Yeah, yeah. Are you, one, are you done after this or who, who else do you want? Who, who else is on your list? Everybody's asking about, I, I, everybody's asking about this. I'm saying I want to stay focused on face temper, but after this, I want the bigger fights, obviously. You know, like me and Inisan Gibb has some, he's, Inisan Gibb, we have some history. He's fighting Austin McBroom. Uh, I, I kind of want the winner of that fight. If I win this fight the way I plan to, I want the winner of that fight. Who wins that? Um, I'm leaning towards Gibb, honestly. Gibb, you know, uh, I think I believe Austin McBroom is more skilled. Gibb is more uh, uh, of the harder worker, you know, but hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard. I see Austin McBroom partying and shit, and I see Gibb uh, training his ass off, so I'm leaning towards Gibb. Well, if Gibb and McBroom are watching this, what do you tell them? Uh, they just say, I'm coming for that ass, boys. I'm coming for y'all, I'm telling y'all. Final message to face Temper ahead of Saturday night. Ayo, Tommy boy. Um, I got my Tommy boy. If you don't know what Tommy is, it's a Thompson Call of Duty gun. He plays Call of Duty. Yeah, a little like, a little, it's a little joke. I hope y'all laugh at that one. <laughs> Leave it there. Slim, appreciate it. <laughs>